is good morning this morning i want to discuss concerning topologies now last week we were able to discuss to discuss the transmission medium this morning we want to discuss the topologies and the topology so the objectives of this uh, session is supposed to know the meaning of topology the factors they have consider in selecting the topology i think i had highlighted them last week so today we are going to, uh, to explain them in detail see you're supposed to know the various types of topologies for example you can have the bus topology you can have the ring topology you can have the mesh topology and the benefits together so that is the objective of today's what let's actually supposed to know types of what of all topologies so i'll start by explaining the term so i had explained our network and you see the network now is that what combination of both hardware and softwares that enables to do what to achieve communication communication so to go straight to the topologies now and i say now in topologies now we said in topology, this is the this is the arrangement or the layout of the what of the devices or the node in a in a in a network that layout. Now you see now for the nodes now it can present it can have the switch it can even present the the routers it can present with the repeat the repeaters or even the computers that are using what in that topology. And now in topology now the, it is based on what you call the physical and what. The logical network layout. When we talk about the physical layout now, this is the actual layout or how the switches or how the routers are what are connected to get together. And now, in terms of the physical layout, we're able to see what the device is. That is what we call the physical layout. Then there is what we call the logical layout. In terms of the logical layout now, it is the way in which the network appears to the, to the devices that use it. We as users now, we do not see that logical layout or we do not see that conceptual layout. Only the devices that communicate with each other are able to do what to see what that layout. So that is the difference between the physical and the logical topo topology layout. For the physical now, we are able to see how we are connected to the cables or how we are connected one cable from the switch to the computer. But in terms of the logical layout, it is conceptual. It is not concept conceptual. We cannot see only the devices that communicate with each other with each other are able to see what that connect connection or are able to communicate with each other yeah that is what we call the logical and physical topology layout any question on that any question on that i hope you have understood that i hope you have, I hope you have understood that yeah the next subsection i want to discuss what you call now why does the topology or the shape of the network matter why does the topology or shape of the whole of the network matter remember we said you can be the one is you can be using either a bus topology or a start topology. So the shape of that network has an effect. For example, in terms of performance, in terms of what of performance, some topologies provide better performance as compared to other what topo topologies. So together, yeah, some some topologies provide what a better perform performance. Because for example, in the case you compare the start topology and the bar and the bus topology, for the start topology, in the case now the central device fails. The whole network fits. So in case you compare the performance of a start topology and the performance and the performance of a bus topology, a bus topology is what is a bit better. That is what the impact on what on perform performance. Still, another factor that may affect any other start topology is what you call then the type of media that is used in what in that network. The type of media that is using what in that network. For example, in case we are using fiber optic cables, in case we are using the coaxial cables, in case we are using what the twisted pair cables. For example, in case we are using the twisted pair cables, we see now, for instance, they must be twisted. And the purpose of now that twisting, it is to reduce what we call electromagnetic interference or noise, because we say it is there is being transmitted over a network. It makes what some no some noise together. And in case you compare the the speed. Or, for example, compare the duration or the, the distance on which it can be transmitted. A twisted cable so is a bit better as compared to the whole thing. Because in case you compare the fiber optic and the twisted pair cable, the fiber optic can be used as to transmit digital signal over what over all the distance. So it's to be upstream. The next factor is what you call the impact. Or the cost of the whole of the cabling of the whole of the net of the network, the cost of cabling. Remember, you said the
I'm not getting you completely. Is it called the inspiration course and you have what meeting that's for? Yeah, I hope you're better than here. Let me just say once more that it disappeared. Yeah, let me share, let me share the screen once more. Let me share the screen once more. Missing. Yeah, but let me see. Let me share the screen. Now we have the factors that to consider before we are selecting what at all at all. Then you see the first one is what you call the cost, the cost now. Now in terms of cost now, remember the longer the cable, the longer the cable, the more it becomes what expect expensive. The longer the cable, the more expensive it, 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 is, it becomes. Because now you cannot compare the cost of 10 meters cable and the cost of what 100 meters scale meters cable, even in terms of installation. Some people are required to do what to install the topo the topology so you have what you call installation cost then still there is what you call maintenance cost remember in the case there's a failure of one node within the topology it requires what some maintenance so you have to do what you have to incur the maintenance cost for what during the during the repair the repair or diagonalizing with the pro the problems that is what you call the cost the cost Then the result, the result called scalability now. In terms of scalability now, there's how, for example, or that topology should allow the addition of what of new of new nodes or new devices. For example, maybe that topology was having uh, 10 computers. That topology should allow the addition of new or new compute computers or other devices like the switch without impacting or without changing what in perform performance. That is what you call scalability, scalability. Or the users can extend what the net the network. For example, maybe organization has grown. I think maybe maybe the organization maybe, maybe for example the organization was using two rooms that is growing and what extend now the network to three more rooms. So that topology should allow what the addition of what of new nodes and I have seen even if you add the, the devices the performance of that network or that topology should remain the same. That is what that is what called scalability scalability. Then there is what you call flexibility. That topology should be flexible. If it's the best topology Supposed to be what flex, flexible. For example, in the case now you want to, to reconfigure. For example, maybe you had said that network or that topology, and you want to, con to, to reconfigure the IP address. That topology should allow that. It should allow the reconfiguration of of that ne network. For example, we had configured that these computers are supposed to receive the signal from what from that switch. That topology should allow the changing of what of that switch. If any of you change the switch now, the performance is supposed to remain the same, the same. That is what flexibility. You should allow reconfiguration, configuration. Then the result is called the ease of installation. That's what you call the ease of installation. So it should be very, very easy to install what that topo, that topology. For example, maybe maybe installing the bus topology. Just require maybe like three computers, you require a hub, in case you're having more computers, you require a switch and some in some case, some cable is very, very good. Is it to do what to install? Install. Then there is what we call the ease of maintenance. It should be fair, easy to maintain what that topo, that topology. That topology should not give the technicians problems during what maintain maintenance. And now the maintenance is now supposed to take the least what time, but rather it's supposed to take the least time. Like in the case now, the maintenance of that topology takes more time. I don't think the organization can prefer what that topo, that topology, because now they're supposed to have the minimum down time. 
Yeah, remember, we have some users who are relying on that topo topology. Then the result is called reliability. Yeah, that, that topology is supposed to be reliable. Yeah, that it's supposed to be available to all the users whenever required. required. Remember, we have people who depend on that topology to work or to achieve what the organization goals. So it's supposed to be avail available. And even, even if now there's some maintenance now, it should take the least what the least time. So these are the factors we have to consider before you select what a topo topology. Any question? Any question or clarification available? Maybe I can clarify now. Any question or any clarification? Yeah, you can ask a question or a clarification. Maybe you can ask now a question. Yeah, that is okay. So we can proceed now. I think that we can proceed. Now we have the topologies are here. I want to discuss now the bus topology, the ring topology, the star tree, and what the mesh topo topology. Still, the result is called we have the hybrid. Let me just add one. We have the hybrid now. We have the hybrid topology. So let me ask you, Nyabela, which topology have you, or let me ask you, which topology have you interacted with? Or have you ever seen? Which topology have you interacted with? Is it a bus topology? A ring topology? Or which one have you interacted with? Which one have you ever seen? Which topology have you ever seen? For example, in a cyber cafe, are they using a bus topology? A ring topology? Or which devices now are they supposed to be in a topology? Which devices in a better way from you? The devices that are supposed to be a topology, which devices do we require for us to have a topology? Which devices do we require? Yeah, but which devices do we require? You can see your typing. Yeah, you have heard about the bus topology. Now I want to discuss now in detail all these topo topologies. And we are going to this is a, this is the topologies here. Look at this diagram here. You can have a sub topology from that diagram. If it is clear. Look at that diagram. Yeah, if you look at this diagram here, we are having a we are having a start topology here. And in the start topology, we are having a central device. Look at this device here. What the central device device? We are having that the computers. I think these are the computers. Then the mesh topology this is the mesh topology. We realize they are forming a mesh network together. They are forming what? A mesh ne network. Then this is what we call the ring topology is here. They form what a ring, a ring or a circuit shape. That is here. Then this is the three topology here. The three topology is here. Then you can have the bus topology is here. Together, there is what there is what we call a linear transmission cable and all other devices that connect to the host to the topo topology. Then you can have this line together or almost similar to the what to the link the link but is it for the link it has to form what a circular what a circular shape it has to form a circular shape yeah i want to start the first one a bus topology i want to start the first one the bus topo the bus topology so for the bus topology now this is a network in whereby every computer or all other devices are connected to a single key to a single keyboard together. That network whereby every computer or all other devices are connected to what? To a single key, single keyboard. Yeah. And if you look at this one now, we're having a single keyboard is here. Let me just use this diagram. Look at this diagram now. We're having what? This is what we call the linear transmission key keyboard. This is what we call the linear transmission keyboard. Or the backbone of that what? Of that net network. Then we can connect now the, dev the devices and connect the computers. So you can connect, for example, in case you're having a printer that can be shared with that network, you can connect it. Yeah, this is what we call the bus topology. 
you're having a linear transmission cable whereby all other devices are connected to. For Tim, now you ask a question, what can happen in case now there's a linear transmission cable fail? In case now this cable fails, the whole network fails. But in case now this device here fails, in case this device fails, the network remains the same. But together, it has no effect the net, the network. Yeah. It has no effect. That what? That net network. I hope I've understood that topology. Any question on that, on that diagram? And now, for example, in case this topology has exactly two edge points, it's called what? A linear bus topology. In case it has what? Exactly two edge points. We call it what? A linear bus topology. Any question? Yeah, Bella. Any question on that? So what are the benefits now or the advantages now of having what the bus topology? Yeah, maybe you have this information is yeah, how it has worked, as explained that together. The bus is the data linked into what the bus network together. We have this now. We have the host. Mm -hmm. We have what the host, the host or the workstation together. We have what the workstation. The workstation now is that computer that is able to send information to all what all other computers in the world in the name the network together. It is the host, it is the host. Sometimes we call it what a station. Yeah. And we have that the traffic generated by each station has what equal transmission prior priority. There is no way that this workstation can be having a higher traffic and this workstation can be having what higher tra traffic. The traffic is what is e is equal. Yeah. Is equal. So what are the benefits now of having this bus topology? The benefits of having this bus topology. One of the benefits now, for example, in case the organization is very, very small, together, in case the organization is very, very small, they just require what small net networks so together. For example, maybe in a room, in a single room. So it can work best for an organization which is having what small net networks so together. See, for example, in case you, you require just small cables now, you can use the bus, the bus stop or topology. For example, in a room, you just require what a single, a single cable, a small cable that is connected to the to the, to the linear transmission cable to the compute the computer then for this one it is easy to install this is what it is easy to install install very very simple to install it just require a cable then you connect it to the what to the port to the port another benefit of having this topology it works best and i have said that the works best whereby the organization has what a small net network still it is easy to understand and easy to implement, implement. Easy to understand, and easy to implement, implement. But now, this topology has a lot of limitation. It has what? Several limited limitation. This topology has what? Several limited limitations. Because now there is a problem or there is a hinge in, in the, with the main original transmission cable, the whole network fails. So the entire network shuts down if there is a break in the world, in the main cable. Remember, the main cable. It supplies what the signals or it supplies information to what or other compute computers. So in case there is a problem, the entire network fails. And in case now you add more devices, for example, maybe you are having 10 computers to that network. You add five computers, it becomes slow. That is another effect. It is slow when we add what more devices. Yeah. Still. It is difficult to identify the problem. For example, maybe there's a problem with the maybe there's a problem with the network. It is difficult to do what troubleshoot. It is difficult to diagnose the pro the problem. That is a what other limitations. And still, terminators are required at both the edge of the what of the backbone K cable. We require them here. Yeah, and from this, look at this diagram here. We call what the terminators are here. They are here. Because the terminators are here. They are here. And yeah, we require them. At the at the end of the hood of the key of the cable. Yeah. So what are the applications now of the past topology? Where can we apply them? We have seen the first one, they can be used in a what in a LAN, a local ADN network. For example, maybe we maybe in a school setup. But together, a LAN can be used in a school setup because now this is a network that spans or cover a small geographical region. So we can use what a bus topology. Now what in a in a land. Even computer motherboards, they use what you call the what the bus topology. We have one linear cable and all other devices are going to that what 
that linear key evoke. And still, it can be used for broadcasting of the, me the message. For example, with this computer here, can broadcast out the message to all, all other computers. Computer. Yeah. Any question on that or any clarification on that? Yeah, you have any question or any clarification because I'm through the best approach. So in this approach, what do you have to remember, Nyabela? We just have one net transmission key cable, and you must be having terminators on both ends. Because you must be having what? Terminators on both ends. And then we have said, in the case now, the middle cable or the backbone cable or, or the net transmission cable fails, the whole network fails. And we have said, in the case you add more devices, that network becomes what? Mm. Becomes through. Mm. The speed becomes what? We weak. So any question? The, or you have this question that if the main computer crashes, this affects the rest of the network. It will not affect. It will not affect, affect. For example, Nikki, this computer, Nikki, this computer here fails. It will affect this one. But what will affect now is the linear transmission cable or the main cable in here. You have this cable here. Nikki, this backbone cable here fails. The whole network fa fails. Yeah. Have you understood? In case this computer here fails, it will affect the rest of the network. But in case now there's a problem with the backbone cable, it will affect what? The entire network. Work. You understood that. Any any other question? Yeah, any other question? Before I proceed. Yes, that is, a, that is a good question for us. Yes, there is a way now someone connect that can hack it. Yes, someone can be still up here. Any other question? Any other question? All right, proceed to the next topology now. Yeah. Now, the next topology is what you call the start topology. Look at that diagram now. The next topology is what you call the start topology. Look at that diagram. Look at it. Now, we are having a central device here. We are having the hub. The hub is at the middle. You can have the switch at the middle. Still, we can have the server at the middle. At the middle. Then we have other devices here. This is what you call a start of a start a start apology. So in this one now, in case the central device fails, the whole network fail, fails. Now in the start apology now, all the components of the network are connected to the central device called the hub. We have seen now in case you switch off the hub, or in case now the router fails, the whole network fail, fails. And now in this topology, we do not have direct traffic between what the device devices. We do not have what? Direct tra traffic, yeah. Yeah, so what are the benefits now of having the start topology now? The benefit of having the start of topology, yeah. Yeah, so one of the advantages of having the start topology is easy to troubleshoot. It is easy to diagnose what a problem. 
for example, maybe we have this device here. In case now this computer fields here, in case this computer fields here, it cannot affect what all other devices here. But in case now we realize that all the computers that are off or all the network is off here, we will realize that the problem is what the switch, the switch or the hub. Because now is that the me, the me do now. That is what is easy to troubleshoot, troubleshoot. Then still, the components can be removed what very easily. The components can be what can be removed very easily. Even if now you remove this computer here, it cannot affect what that that topo, topo project together. Even if you remove the printer here, it cannot cause any disturbance. The what the topo, the topology. And still, it is easy to connect new nodes or whatever devices. It's easy to connect new nodes or whatever devices. For example, maybe you are using a switch. And remember, a switch has what one about four ports. Initially, you had connected 10 devices. And you have added 10 computers. You can connect now the 10 computers to the what? To the topology without any what? Any E, the effect. Yeah. And there is still there is what you call central management now. Together. So you must be having as an administrator who manages what? That, net, that network together. Because now, once you have all the devices connected to a central device, now we can manage them very easily. We can switch off the network, we can switch on the net, the network. For example, maybe you're having a server at the middle. I want ASA, a server at the middle at the middle. We must be having an administrator who manages that what that network together. We must be having what you call centralized control control. And the last benefit of having this topology, it is easy. Together, it is easy to detect the failure and troubleshoot it. I said in the case now this computer is off. But the network of this computer is off now. It cannot affect what all other compute computers are together. So we can diagnose what the problem in this computer very, very easily. Still, another benefit the failure of one of the nodes does not affect what the rest of the network. In case now this node here fails, this one fails, or this one fails, it cannot affect what the rest. But now, because this one fails here, it will affect what the entire net network. What are the now? What are the what are the disadvantages now? What are the limitations now of having this what this net network or this topology now? One of the limitations is that uh, in case now the central device fails, the whole network fails. In case the central device fails, the whole network fails. fails. Yeah. And still, in case you use in case you're using a hub at the middle. We're using the router now, or the switch now is expensive. But again, it's all exp expensive. Yeah, because now, for example, like the switch, like the this code, the nice the switch, it's very, very exp expensive. Yeah. Any question on the limitations? Any question? Any, any question now or on this topology? Any question or any clarification? Yeah. If we go to the applications. So one of the applications of this topology is in a what a local area network. That network that spans what a small geographical region. For example, in a what in a school, in a school, and still, for example, maybe the, maybe the organization or maybe that land they require what high speed together or the speed of that of that land required is what very very high. You can use what this start start of topology to provide high speed high speed. Any question? Yeah, that is what called the start of all project. Then you can proceed now to the next. Yeah, we can have the new topology. Just look at this. Yeah, just, just look at it. Just look at this topology here. Yeah, the new topology. Now, if you look at this topology now, we are having a we are having a circular shape. Together, the result is called a new topology. It forms what a circular shape. Is able to form what a circular shape. Yeah. This device here is connected to this one, to this one, to this one forming what a cyclic or a circular shape. The ring topo topology. Now in the, in the ring topology now, every device is connected to each other in a what in a circular shape. Together, 
and each packet is sent around the ring until it reaches out its final destiny, destination. If, for example, maybe, 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 for example, you had a packet from this computer, and this packet is, a, is supposed to be sent to this computer. It has to be sent from this computer, this computer, to this computer, up this computer until it reaches its destiny, destination. Yeah. And still, the data travels from one node to the next node together. Or every device or is or these computers now they can handle all the nodes, all the packets that are required to be sent to the whole of the destiny destination. Yeah, all the devices here can handle all the packets that require to be transmitted to the destiny destination. So what are the benefits now of having this topology? The benefits of having this topology. One of the benefits of having this topology is very organized. Look at it, it's organized. Look at it, look at that topology. Is it organized? Is it organized? The ring topology is very organized. So together. Is it organized? Look at it. It's here. Look at it, yeah, it's organized. Yeah, once the packet is sent from this COVID and supposed to be Suppose can what this compute this computer. Then each node gets to the data when it receives an empty host token. Each node gets to save the data when it receives what an empty top token. So we have seen now in the case that packet is sent from this computer, and the decision is here, it has to be there, it has to go through all these compute computers. Once this computer receives, it receives the token to the next word, compute computer. Then you have the next benefit. It helps to reduce what the chances of what of code of correction. Is what the chances of what in this manner. This is the proof of the word of the mess of the message. You do not have some packets which have been sent in what the anticlockwise direct direction. Yeah, they are following what one direct one direction. Then see another benefit, all the traffic flows in one direction at a very high speed, high speed. We can explain using another point that all the traffic flows in one direction at a very what at a very high speed, high speed. And still another advantage now, there is no need for network server to control the connectivity between what the workstation. There is no need for network server to control the connectivity between what the workstation could be. In the start of topology, you require the server, you require the router, and now they are very, they are very expensive. So this topology you do not require that central device. So other, you do not require a device that is supposed to control all other compute computers. Or you do not require that device that is supposed to control all other nodes or other nodes. Yeah. And still, in the case you add a new device or in the case you add a new node to that network, the performance is not affected. And together, the performance is not affected. Remember, you said in the past topology. In the case you add extra devices, the performance of that network is affected. It becomes slow. But for this topology, it does not affect what the perform the performance. And still, each computer has an equal access to the resources. Yeah, each computer has an equal access to the world, very so resources. So these are the benefits of having topology. So what are the limitations of having this topology? The limitations of having this topology. One broken workstation can create problems for the entire network. For example, that one broken workstation can create problems for the entire network. For example, this computer has failed. But this workstation has failed. And packets are missing from this computer to this computer. What will happen? Nyabera. This workstation has, has failed. And packets are being sent from this computer to this computer. What will happen to that topology, Nyabera? What will happen? Yeah, what will happen? I'll hear from you. You have said that. You have said that. In case one station breaks down, it affects the entire network. You have said now, what will happen to this one? Maybe packets will be sent from this computer to this computer. What will happen in case this one fails in your I'll hear from you.
Ya ven, no, ya por mi voz, la pen. So what will happen now? The packet will be short. It's the same destination. Still, another limitation is that uh, moving or adding and shading the devices can affect what the network. Moving, adding, and shading the devices can affect what the, ne the network. For example, in case we move this computer here, this phrase here, this one here together, it can affect what the, ne the network. Yeah. The next limitation is that. Uh, Communication delay is directly proportional to the number of nodes in the network. Communication delay is directly proportional to the number of nodes in the, in the net network. For example, in the case there's a drain, there's one, this affect this one. In the case there's a drain, there's one, this affect what that, that, what that computer, computer, because now the flow of the message, or the message goes in what, in one direction. In the case of the computer delays now, they have to delay what, the next computer, computer. And now the bandwidth is shared in all the things you know that ever explanatory. Yeah. And now it is more difficult to do what to configure than what than a start of four topology. It is more difficult to configure than in a what in a start of four topology. You know, in a start of topology, you just connect the devices in the what in the central hub, in the central switch, in the central server. But for this one now, we must have a we must have a link together to this computer. For the next for the next computer, computer and for this one it is difficult to configure to configure yeah because so you have to be very very careful that once the packet are sent from this computer and they are going to this computer they do not only listen this computer they have to come to this computer computer it's difficult to configure configure yeah. so what are the applications now of the read topology the application the person we have said we can be using this course for networking for example maybe there is a LAN still in office buildings and it's still in case you require a LAN, which is very, very fast, then use what you call the interval topology. Any question in the topology? Because I'm drawing, I'm drawing with the link topology. Yeah, so we can proceed now. Now, I want to proceed with what you call the mesh topology. Yeah, the mesh topology is here. The next one is what you call the mesh topology. Yeah, look at this diagram. Let's look at it. Look at this look at this topology. It is forming a mesh. It is forming what a mesh? A mesh. Whenever you talk about the mesh topology now, this is a point to point connection to other what nodes or other devices. This is a point to point connection to other nodes or other devices. All the networks or all the, or, or, all the nodes are connected to each other. The mesh has what you call n minus one physical channels. That a mesh has what n minus one physical sh channels to encode end of devices all together. Yeah. In the techniques that I used to transmit data of the mesh topology, you have to. There is a routing, there is what for padding. This, these are the two techniques that I use to connect or to transmit data over, what, over this support topology. And what happens with the mesh topology now, we must be having a dedicated link. We must be having a dedicated link. And the purpose of this one now, the, the purpose of that link now is to carry traffic. In the case now, we have traffic. That traffic can only be can only be carried by using what? That dedicated link and forms what? This forms the mesh now. It forms what the mesh, the mesh. Yeah. Now I've said the two major techniques that I used to transmit data. We have flooding and what and run and routing. We have flooding and what and run and routing. So what are the benefits now of having the mesh topology? The benefits of having the mesh topology. One of the benefits is that the topology can be stored high traffic. The topology can be can be stored what high traffic. High traffic, and the reason for that, 
we have a dedicated path, we have a dedicated link that is used to carry what specific tra traffic. Together, with another benefit, data transfer doesn't get affected. Together with, remember, if you look at this diagram here, we have what we have several channels that, that can be used to do what to carry what the day the data. Then still, expansion and modification in the topology can be done without what disrupting what other no other nodes. For example, in case I just require to add a new device here, I will just add it here. Then I connect the what to the next network. And now, once I connect that device, or once I add, or once I add a new node to the net, to that topology, it does not affect the performance of the whole of the net of the network. The network performance remains what the same, the same. The network performance remains what the same, the same. And still, if one of the components fails, there is always an alternative route. Together, in case one of the components fails, for example, look at this one. In case now we have uh, this path here, or we have this channel, we have this channel here. In case this one fails here, still this node here can receive information using what this path. Together, you can receive what information information using what using this path, this path, or even this one here. Any question on the on the benefits of the, of this topology? Any question? Any question? So what are the disadvantages now of having this topology? It is expensive to implement. Expensive to do what to implement, implement. Still, it is difficult to configure this topology. You must have. You are currently the person. only person in this conference. You must have a skilled personnel. Who has the knowledge to do what to configure what the device the devices? Remember, I said we must be having a dedicated path, but is it what for the, tra the traffic? So the setup and maintenance of this topology is what very difficult, it's expensive to do what to implement, implement, and there is high chances of redundancy in many of the what of the connect connections. Redundancy is what we call duplication. I think that we have what duplication of the what of the connect of the connections. Yeah, that is what you call the mesh topo topology. So what are the applications now? On the mesh topology together yeah they can be used in our in a wide area net, network and you know this is a network that is able to span a large geographical region like a hot like a, a country or still they can be used in a hot in a telephone region office uh, these are the applications of the mesh topology yeah, so can we proceed to the next Then you're going to proceed. Yeah, so what happens now in our wide area network now? Remember, we, in our wide area network, we must be having a uh, several routers. Uh, together, for example, we can be having what several uh, routers now. These routers now they're supposed to communicate with each other. That's forming a mesh. For example, we can have a router at Nairobi, we can have one at Kisumu, and together we can have one at Nairobi, one at Nyeri. So once these routers communicate now, or they share the information now, they form what we call now a wide area net network, and it's in the form of a mesh. Okay, but soon now. For example, you can have one router in Kisumu. That router is able to transmit information to another router in Nairobi. And the Nairobi router is able to transmit information to another router in what? In Naku, Nakuru. This forms what? A, a mesh. All the routers can, can communicate with the what? With each other. That's the understood. Yeah, that is okay. So we can proceed now. The next is what you call the next topology is what you call the tree topology. We have what you call the tree topo topology. Just look at it. It is here. <laughs> this is the tree topology. Yeah, 
we can have the nozzle here, we can have the central device is here, or we can have a linear transmission cable is here. This forms what? A two topology. So, a two topology now, it contains the features of both what? Sign what? And bus topo topology. It contains the features of both this sign what? And the bus topo topology. Now, if you look at this one here, if you look at this one here, that this one, look at this transmission cable here. We have these devices connected to the what? This cable. It forms what? A bus topo topology. It forms a bus topology. Then, if you look at this one here, we are having what a central device is here. This is a what? This is a central device. This forms what a start topology. It forms what a start topology. So you can see here we are having a bus topology, and here we are having what a start topology. So this people depict what both characteristics of the start topology and what the bus topology. Yeah, I think I've explained that now. So what are the benefits now of having what this topology? The benefits of having a T topo topology. So you can extend. The bus and the start topology is very easily. That is one of the benefits. You can extend what the bus topology and the start topology still it, you can easily maintain the, this network. You can do what you can easily maintain this network. For example, in this diagram here, in the case now this device fails, or in case this device fails here, it cannot affect what this device is together, or in case this one fails here, it cannot affect what this device. So you can maintain or you can troubleshoot this network very easily. Still, the expansion of the nodes is possible and easy. The expansion of the nodes is possible and what and e and easy. In the case now, I want to add a new node here. So just uh, connect the new node what in this what in this bus topo approach or in this linear transmission K cable. Still, error detection and encryption is very very easy. In the case there's a problem, you can diagonalize it and troubleshoot it very very easily still if one segment is damaged or if one node is damaged it does not affect the other what other no other nodes i explained that in the case now this node here is damaged or it is affected or it fails it cannot affect what this no this node so what are now what are the limitations now of having this topology the limitations of the bus topology of the bus topology of the three topo the limitations. So one of the limitations is that this costly, this expensive to implement, implement, you require several devices, you require the router somewhere, you require the server somewhere, you require the hub, the hub so it is exp expensive. And still, it requires a lot of cables. It requires a lot of what? A lot of cables. Yeah, if you look at this diagram here, uh, if, you, if you look at it, it requires what? A lot of K, a lot of cables here. A lot of K, a lot of cables. And still, on that part of the start topology, in case now the hub fails or the switch fails, the whole network fails together. Yeah. So these are the major limitations of having the three topo topology. So this is a comparison between the topologies. Before I go to the comparison, there is what you call the hybrid topology. We have the hybrid topology. So for the hybrid now, hybrid now is able to combine the features of two topologies. For example, you can have the bus topology and the ring topology. But together, you can have the bus topology and the start topology. You can have the mesh topology and the bus topology. That is a, that is a hybrid topo topology. A topology that contains or combines two more topo topologies. So the features of these topologies, they are depicted in that word, that hybrid topo topology. Yeah. So this is the comparison between the topologies. You can have the bus topology and what the start topo topology. Let me just look at these topologies. Look at the, in the past topology, now we are saying it uses one main cable to which all the nodes are directly connected. The main cable acts as the backbone for the network. One of the computers in the network typically acts as what the computer server. For a whole stage, it works as a what is a workstation, or it works as a what is a host. But now in the start topology, now each computer is connected. To a central device, either a hub, either a switch, or either a router. And there is what you call the use of point to point connect connection. So a signal travels from the central device to that what works state, works station, or to that what, or to that no, to that node. Then we have the new topology here. We say the computers in, the, in this topology, they are connected in a cyclic fashion. 
or in a circular shape to form what we call a sun, a circle. I think that and the data has to travel in one direction. So and the reason why the data is able to travel, travel in one direction, there is no traffic. There is no there is no tra traffic. We do not have packet correction. That together, each computer is directly connected to the next compute computer, forming a single path we for see for signals. Then we have what we call the mesh topology. We have said for this one now, we, we have what we call a dedicated path. And you said the purpose of that link now is to carry what? To carry the, tra the traffic. And for this one, it is able to carry high volume tra traffic. Yeah. And another benefit of having this topology, this topology we said, even if one of the channels fails, even if one of the rings fails, there are several what? There are several other connect connections that can be used to, what? to transmit what? the same same information. That is the comparison. That's the comparison. And we are doing the topologies now. Yeah, we are doing the whole with the topo topologies. Now you can ask the yeah, we we diagram for I can see you have a question, yeah, Bella. Yeah, which diagram specific? Which diagram? Which diagram? For the topology for the for the hybrid for the hybrid I say now it is a combination of what two topologies for example let me just show you. let me share screen here have this topology let me just show you let me just share the screen let me just show you let me just show you a hybrid topology now the diagram of a hybrid topology. Yeah, hybrid is clear. Can you see this diagram on your bell? Can you able to see it? Yeah, if you look at this diagram here, look at this one now. This is a hybrid topology now. A topology that entails the combination of what? Or it has features of different topologies. And this topology now, this one is a what? This is a this type of topology is connected to a topology here. And now this type of topology is connected to what? Connected here or operating network. That is here. Up now it is clear now. The diagram is clear. Any questions? Because we have three topologies now. We have three topologies. You can ask a question now. Can ask some questions or some clarifications. Yeah, that is okay. That is that is good. Let's phone that the class was awesome and understood. Yeah, that is okay now. Yeah. Now I have shared the presentation. Yeah, you, you see the presentation as it is now. You can just go through it. I think the points are very clear. I've tried to to perceive them together. So they are self-explanatory. Together they are short and self-explanatory. Yeah, that is that is enough for today. Now. There's a question I'm posting for discussion. I think that I want to work on it now. There's a question. There's a question I'm posting <coughs> for the discuss discussion. So I want to work on it. Yeah. In case there's another question, you can ask, you can inquire. So we are through the whole with the top of the apologies. I'm so grateful because I can see you have, you have understood very well. I'm so grateful.
So be pressed and keep safe. Why did you have to keep safe from this pandemic? Why did you have to do what you have to keep safe? Why did you have Yeah, so have a good day. You are currently the only person in this conference.